real idea authentic problem. The first knowledge building principle is real idea authentic problem. The meaning of this idea is that problems discussed in a community should be real and not from textbooks or created as fake scenarios from our imaginations. They should be real and authentic and present challenges from real life that show depth and complexity of life. Finally, real ideas are ones that people really care about and that emerge from a genuine attempt to improve the welfare of the community and understand the world we live in today. Improvable ideas. The second knowledge building principle is improvable ideas. The meaning of this principle is that all ideas can and should be improved. In improving the ideas, learners and community members should work to improve the quality, coherence, and utility of the idea so that it advances the community and the communities around them. People must feel safe to express their ideas, their half-baked notions, and their beliefs. They must be open to having them critiqued in a respectful and frank manner in order for the idea to be improved. Idea diversity. The third knowledge building principle is idea diversity. The meaning of this is that the community, community members will have diverse ideas and perspectives to contribute to the knowledge base, and this should be welcomed and not in, ignored. Knowledge in idea diversity presents strength in the community and should not be perceived as a weakness. Idea diversity may not always lead to agreement. However, diverse perspectives as well as contrasting perspectives should be welcomed in a community that supports knowledge building. The fourth knowledge building principle is rise above. The meaning of this principle is that community members are able to practice all the knowledge building principles and thus develop a coherent synthesis and high level formulation of problems. This means that community members are okay with working with complex and messy problems in order to reach higher planes of understanding. They are able to transcend trivialities and oversimplifications of problems. Epistemic agency. The fifth knowledge building principle is epistemic agency. The meaning of this principle is that community members are intrinsically motivated to take charge of their learning and do whatever necessary in order that the work gets done. In a scholarly or school setting, this is normally the responsibility of the teacher. However, in knowledge building, the students or the learners take more responsibility and they are more likely to take on leadership roles. They initiate new ideas and negotiate between theirs and others' ideas to come to a common understanding. They do not wait for someone else to do that for them. The sixth knowledge building principle is community knowledge collective responsibility. The meaning of this principle is that the community members focus on generating ideas that advance the group more than themselves. In this selfless culture, producing ideas which are of value to the community is more important than advancing personal knowledge. In this sense, group members are sharing the responsibility to advance the knowledge in the community. Democratization of knowledge. The seventh knowledge building principle is democratization of knowledge, meaning that all community members in the hierarchy are equal and legitimate contributors to the community's knowledge base. Thus, all the people in the hierarchy, be they be secretaries, coordinators, managers, directors, or chairs, all work together and share the responsibility of advancing the community knowledge. Symmetric knowledge advance. The eighth knowledge building principle is symmetric knowledge advancement. The meaning of this principle is that the communities do not work in isolation from each other, but work together using each other's advances to build on each other. When one community shares its knowledge with others, the others also benefit and grow from that knowledge. Pervasive knowledge building. The ninth knowledge building principle is pervasive knowledge building. This means that thinking and contributing to the community occurs at all times and not just during school or work hours. Constructive uses of authority. 
The tenth knowledge building principle is constructive uses of authority. The meaning of this is when is that when engaging in community inquiry, it should be supported with evidence and up-to-date knowledge or information. The inquiry should be respectful, recognizing the greatness of ideas, but be able to withstand criticism. In other words, we must be careful and attack ideas, not the person. Knowledge Building Discourse The eleventh knowledge building principle is knowledge building discourse. This means that the community conversations are more than a sharing of ideas. Instead, the collective discussion, which aims to improve ideas, otherwise called conceptual artifacts, is refined and transformed through the discussion itself. Embedded and transformative assessment. The twelfth and final knowledge building principle is embedded and transformative assessment. This means that the assessment is continuous and ongoing, and not just done at fixed periods. It is used to identify problems as the work proceeds. The community does its own internal evaluation before the external assessors come. In knowledge building, the internal assessment carried out by the community is more thorough and rigorous than the external evaluation.